Hi there. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is Julie DiMatteo from thepaperpixie.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful shadow box that is sized to fit one of the five mil bottles of essential oil. Really, really sweet gift to give to someone. I love this uplifting sentiment, here's to strong women. We're going to be using the stamp set, here's to strong women. I love this set. I especially love this sentiment for teachers, but it's wonderful to lift women up and I think we should do more of it. So let me show you how easy it is to make this box. We're gonna start with a piece of petal pink cardstock that measures seven and three eighths inches by eight and three quarter inches. And on all four sides, we're gonna score the box at half an inch, one and three eighths, one and seven eighths, and two and three quarters. And I'm gonna repeat that on the remaining three sides. Now I'm gonna turn this to the shorter side, the seven and three eighths inch side, and we're gonna score this in two spots, but only down to the second score line. Let me show you that template really quick. So we're gonna score at three and a quarter and four and one eighth, but stopping at that second horizontal score line. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Three and a quarter, stopping at the second horizontal score line, four and one eighth, then I'm gonna rotate this 180 and repeat the same score measurements. Then on the long side, or the eight and three quarter inch side, we're gonna score this at two and a quarter down to the fourth horizontal score line and six and a half. So two and a quarter, going down four score lines, six and a half, four score lines. Then I'm gonna rotate it 180 and repeat. Okay, next I'm going to fold and burnish on all the score lines that go all the way across the paper. Now that all that folding and burnishing is done, we're going to go ahead and cut away some pieces. And what I like to do, I kind of cut from the back side of the paper because it's easier to see my score lines. But normally with a shadow box, you would remove these entire 16 sections here. So going in for going up for and removing this whole corner. I like on my shadow boxes to add a little tab here. It gives the box a little bit of sturdiness. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna come in four score lines and then cut up four score lines. And then I'm gonna come in three and cut up four again. Then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to cut up the score line that's closest to this large section and remove that corner section. Then we kind of have this long strip that we created. I'm just going to go up to that short score line that we made and create a little tab there. So we left a tab behind and I'm going to continue to do the same thing in all four corners. So again, real quick, I'm in four score lines. I'm going to cut up four score lines. Then I'm going to come in three score lines and cut up four. I'm going to turn it and cut on this score line closest to this large section to remove that corner section. And then cutting right there at that short score line to leave a tab behind. So let me finish the two other corners. Okay, and then with those four tabs, I'm just going to come in and notch them. All right, so we're getting closer. Now, to create kind of that quintessential frame-like structure, we're gonna come in and cut down those short score lines, the ones where we only went down two score lines, like so. And then what I'm gonna do, I like to always cut going from the lower right to the upper left. So I'm gonna come down a score line from the bottom of that cut line and cutting on the diagonal I like to do this in one cut that'll keep my line straight and then create that angled piece. I like to then flip the cardstock over, keeping my scissors going in the same direction, like so. I'm gonna repeat that on the opposite side. And that is how we score and cut for a shadow box. Now let's go ahead and put this shadow box together. Using Terran tape, I'm gonna put Terran tape on all 
four outside sections. I'm running that tear and tape up to the score line instead of the cut edge, and I'm gonna do that on all four of the edges here. Then I'm also gonna put tear and tape on these four tabs, again, up to the score line, not the edge of the cardstock. And then on the back side, I like to put a little piece of tear and type right along that diagonal piece. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just right there along the diagonal piece. All right, now I'm going to use my Take Your Pick tool and remove the backing off of all the tear and tape. And you want to be careful removing these off the back side so you don't stick the other side's tear and tape to your surface. All right, so here's what we're gonna start. We're on the back side, kind of where the edges are curled up. I'm gonna work on these long sides first, folding on the first score line and the third score line and pressing down flat. So we're pressing that flat. Now that is gonna help us square up the sides of our shadow box. We're using our score lines to get it right. So I'm gonna fold again on the first and third and pressing that all down flat, letting our score lines do the work, like so. Now that we've done that, we can then adhere the tabs. So I'm gonna adhere this cut edge up to this score line to create that sharp corner. Then I'm just gonna work my way around the box. Okay, now I'm gonna take this cut edge and kind of curl it under to press it against the back side of the box here before I press it into place. So, you can see how this is kind of standing up. I've got that edge pushed to the back wall, and I'm just gonna kind of roll this down into place. And while I do that, I'm gonna kind of square up the corners and gently press right there on the diagonal piece where if you remember, we put some tear and tape. So that's one side done. Then same thing, this cut edge, rolling it kind of under, or rolling it into the box, but making sure that it's pushed up against that back wall before we then roll it down into place. And then again, kind of squaring up those corners and pressing gently on the diagonal. And there is the basics of the shadow box. It's a really sturdy box, went together fairly easily. And I've got a fabulous bottle of Valor that will fit just perfectly in there. And let's go ahead and decorate the rest of this box. I've got a piece of the Perennial Essence Designer Series paper. This piece measures three and a quarter by six. That means you can get six of these out of a sheet of 12 by 12. And I'm just gonna hold that over my shadow box, kind of centered, the shadow box is centered underneath it. And we're gonna create a little belly band here. Now we could score this, but that's gonna be too complicated with the score line. So if we manually fold this, then we're gonna make sure that our, it's gonna fit just right for this particular shadow box. So I'm just kind of folding it around the corners as I go, creasing it just slightly by pinching on the corner. Then we'll come in and burnish those edges once we get this wrapped. I'm just gently kind of pinching. I'm not wrapping it too tight, but not too loose. And then you'll see that we can see the defined lines there. Now I'm just gonna come in and fold on each of those. Now see how that's just a little bit crooked there. I'm gonna kind of slide that so that it straightens up. Okay, so lining up the edges, and then we'll burnish. We'll just work our way around all those score lines. And just eyeball that and make sure that that's gonna fit, and it sure is. So then on the back side of the belly band, I'm just gonna take some tear and tape, run it right up to the edge, and then we'll wrap that around our box. Again, remember this is the side that has the adhesive, so we'll press that down last. And I'm just kind of gently wrapping it around the box. I just want to make sure that that lines up straight on the back. And then we'll just make sure that this can slide open and close and it's a perfect fit. All right, let's do some stamping. We're going to be using the stamp set Here's to Strong Women and the sentiment Here's to Strong Women. I love that font. We're going to stamp that in Blackberry Bliss onto Whisper White. Then I'm gonna take the one and a half inch circle punch and you're gonna cut off a little bit of the bottom of the N, but you can get the majority of the sentiment in there. 
Then I've cut out a petal pink circle from the layering circles framelits and it's the third smallest layering circle. I'm gonna go ahead and glue those together. Okay, then I've got a hole punch here. It's an eighth of an inch circle punch. This has retired, but any hole punch will work. I'm just gonna punch a little hole at the top of that. We're creating a little tag there. Bring in our box, and then we're gonna use the Petal Pink Striped Organdy Ribbon. I love this ribbon. It's been very popular. I'm first gonna feed the tag onto that before I tie a bow. All right, now here's a little trick for you to get that bow to stay in place. I'm just gonna grab a mini glue dot and we're gonna hide a mini glue dot right underneath the knot there. There's no need for the recipient to untie that bow because they'll just slide the box open and close. And there is our shadow box, sized to fit a five milliliter of essential oil. What a great little gift for somebody. Great if you make your own essential oil blends or perfume blends. The five mil bottles are a great size. So thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss my next video. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Stampin' Up! products I used today, they'll be linked in the description. And I'll also include a link to my detailed blog post with all project measurements, details, and a picture of the template. I'd love to have you come visit me at thepaperpixie.com where I post projects every weekday to inspire you. I have options to subscribe to both my monthly newsletter as well as my daily blog updates, and I'd love to welcome you as a new subscriber. You can shop with me anytime at thepaperpixie.com shop. And if you're interested in a discount on your Stampin' Up! purchases, the starter kit is a great option and a great deal. And I'd love to welcome you to my team of Paper Pixies. You can purchase the starter kit at thepaperpixie.com join. If you don't already have a demonstrator and you'd like a complimentary copy of one of our catalogs, you can submit a catalog request at thepaperpixie.com catalogs. And if you give this project a try, I'd love to see what you made. So feel free to share it on social media with the hashtag PaperPixie, and I'll be sure to check it out. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Take care. Bye.